how to create a clothing store in GoDaddy Website Builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to create a clothing store and also create your own store for clothing into your own website that you're going to create on GoDaddy. So the process is going to be very easy and very simple. You're going to head over GoDaddy.com, sign in for an account, and then you're going to see the platform of GoDaddy. Once you have this, you're going basically to head over the uh, account of yours by clicking on my products on the account settings. And then we're going to head over here. If you have created some of the websites that uh, you have put before, you're going to see them listed in here. And if not, you're going to see the uh, set up a free website. In any case, you're going to click on set up a free website, and then you're going to start designing your website. Now, we're going to get the type of the website or put the type of the website or what are we going to need into that website. So we have basically three choices. Either it is going to be selling with an online store, book appointments online or something else. So basically, when you're going to have a clothing brand or a clothing store, you're going to sell with an online store. Basically, that is it. So we are going to select that choice. Then we're going to click on continue. Now we're going to put the category for that specific website. We have here some suggested categories, but it is not going to be reflecting your intentions. So you're going to type in here the category of your website. For example, we are going to type in clothing like that, and we are going to select the type of clothing. Here we have some specialized, as you can see, themes like men's clothing, vintage clothing, bespoke, and women, and etc. We're going to set up only clothing store. So it is going to be a mixed store. Then we're going to click on continue. So in here, you're going to put a name for that specific store. So we are going to have here, for example, Jack's, Jack's clothing, clothing, and we're going to click on continue. Now you can go ahead and put a physical address if you are going to have here a address and also a phone number and the email. I, in my case, I'm going to clear them all because I'm not going to input a specific address or a phone number, neither an email also. When you finish, you're going to click on continue and then we're going to get the assistance of GoDaddy Iro. So GoDaddy Aero is going to be the AI tool that will help you from a little description or a little, let's say, paragraph to generate the content of your website. So you can go ahead and present your website or you can also skip that step. But I'm going to uh, present my website. Uh, we sell a, um, let's say, big variety, uh, variety of a new clothing, uh, let's say a casual, new casual, casual clothing. And here we are going to click on continue. So we are going to wait for the specific website to load up. And then we are going to have the option to save the website, publish it, modify the themes, and also set up some uh, specific sections. After setting up the website, you're going to have for example, the competitor of the plans. So either you are going to continue for free by clicking on this button, or you can go ahead and ignore that. Or if you are interested in having, for example, a future domain or a specific domain for your website, you can go ahead and add a to cart or to your cart, one of the plans in here, and then you are going to be, uh, let's say, concerned with the plan. So as you can see, we have this specific window that will help you set up the sections that you're going to input into your website. We have the about section. You can visualize each one of the sections. We have the featured products, photo gallery, reviews. As you can see, we have contact us, social medias. We have subscribes, online store, privacy policy, and also return and refund policy. You can put, for example, featured categories, and also you can put an integration or not integration, but integrate the introduction. I'm going to let it as it is and click on continue to my website. Once you have this in hand, you're going to see that we have set up everything. 
Now, what are we going to do basically is to complete this step by adding a store and we are going to see them on or see it on the shortcuts. So this is the first thing that you're going to put. So click on store and normally you're going to see that you're going to be able to add your store. So you're going to create your product either with the help of the AI by putting an image or add it manually. So we have the choice of digital products and also physical products. Since we are going to sell some uh, clothing, we're going to use the physical products. You can go ahead and put a name for that, for example, product like sweater, sweater, and you can go ahead and add images, drag and drop the images in here, upload them or add a video. We have the description, the price, the sale price, the product category, and also the divisibility of the store is going to be controlled in here. For the inventory, you're going to have the SKU code or put an SKU code, drag the inventory or limited edition product. So we are going to add a batch for that specific product. And for the options, you're going to have here colors, sizes, and whatever you are going to put. For the shipping, you're going to put some uh, weights and also some dimensions for that specific product. And for the extra details, you're going to put the tax category and you're going to put the URL handler. So when you finish setting up your product, you're going to see them into this specific space. And here, as you can see, I can scroll and re revise my website and see whatever element is going to be needed and whatnot. You can go ahead and update any photo or change it by clicking on the photo, as you can see, or the camera, and then you are going to update it to something else. You can go ahead and select the uh, specific, uh, as you can see, sections, modify them and put them in here and there. So you are going to head over here. And if you want to add a section, for example, you're going to click on the plus button, which is going to be integrated or uh, put into between the intersection between each one of the sections. We have the sections. We have the, some of the recommended sections. We have the audios, blogs, newsletters, commerce. As you can see, we can put some featured categories, sections, gift cards, online uh, store, PayPal button, and refund and also return policies and etc. You can add an, a contact as you can see, as let's say here section, the posting, files, or whatever. Basically, that was pretty much it for adding a store. You can go ahead and add your payment method after you have uh, published your uh, website, of course, by heading over the store, and then you're going to click on settings. Also, you can go ahead and extend your uh, sales channels or selling channels into social media by integrating some, as you can see, uh, social media uh, items or accounts into this specific account. We have, as you can see, the GoDaddy payments. Also, you can go ahead and manage the products, invoices, and also all the orders into this specific dashboard. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.